Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Jacob back in here with us today mm -hmm. for his second adjustment. Now, you might remember Jacob's video we did last week. He had severe herniated disc with lumbosacral radiculopathy that was causing him to be in a severe left antalgic posture. He's still got a little bit of that antalgic posture today, but I'll let Jacob share with Now, I want to compliment him right off the bat because he went home and did the ice and also did the home exercises that we told him about and showed him. So he is actually participating with his recovery, which is paramount really for every patient to participate in their own healthcare recovery and rehab process for their spine. And I wanna congratulate Jacob for doing that. He's driving all the way up here from way down in South Houston, right? Yes. And that's what, about an hour, an hour and a half drive? From there, yeah. yep. So you can get anywhere half hour, 45 minutes in Houston is close, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, would you mind sharing with our YouTube fans how you felt after your first adjustment and what you've done all week this week and how you're feeling right now? Oh, what can I start? I feel a little better from the first time. You know, I, not, not, not as much pain. I could walk a little bit more, more better. I mean, but you gotta stay consistent with the exercises, pretty much. You gotta do that. And the crushed day. eyes. Crushed eyes, yeah, that helps a lot. That will heal the wound really good. Well, it decreases the inflammatory effect and is a good analgesic. Yes. So have you had to take as much medication since your first visit? No, not at all. Great, yeah. good. So this is his second visit. We're gonna show you uh, his progress along the way if he doesn't mind. So he's, he's had, he brought his MRIs and stuff in that very first visit and we encourage everybody to do that. If they've got x-rays or MRIs or diagnostic tests of any kind, bring those in. Okay, Jacob, I'll have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me, please, sir. And back to neutral. You can see his head's still forward and a little bit to the right, and he's still translated to the right down in his pelvis, which is causing his thoracolumbar spine to kind of tilt off to the left. That's a scoliosis or curvature that he's developed as a result of this muscle spasm down in his lumbar spine. So today, Jacob, we're going to do this one first. Okay. But right here. Hi there. Hi. Well, it probably won't hurt as much as that first one. First one, I was kind of breaking things up the scar tissue and adhesions in your spine yeah. and around the disc and the joints. Because when you get that inflammatory process going, adhesions just start developing all around your joints and discs. Have you been sleeping like this too with your legs elbows? Yeah, I try, you know. See, like, he's got good reflexes, patellar reflexes. His right one's a little lower than his left one, as you can see. We'll check that afterwards. You just put your hands right there. And there you go. There we go. Is that LeBron James's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's number? No, his number? Kobe. Okay. Oh. We pray for our patients every day oh. here. Yeah, keep okay. breathing. There you go. Okay. Keep breathing. There you go. Okay. Yeah. You'll be okay. I don't have any hints on my trophy will yell. I'll start with yours. They're really sensitive after you pull this. I understand. Here, let, let them just relax yeah. for just a second if cool. you can. I just want to recheck your reflexes. Okay. Well, you got a little bit more in this right one. That left one's still okay. You okay? Yes, sir. Okay, drop this in my hands here. There you go. Perfect. Now, when you have severe herniated discs that have fragmented, like his have, those don't get better and super glue in place the very first adjustment. It's going to take him several adjustments to start remodeling, is the scientific term for it, spinal remodeling. Okay. That's where the muscles and ligaments readapt to a newer biomechanical configuration. Okay, let's see you on your tummy there, Jacob. Oh, man. Now see, his left leg is still about an inch shorter than his right leg, and you can see that in his pelvis right there. 
and it gets even up here. Does that tighten up in your lower back and thighs right there? Yes. Okay. So he's translated to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically move him over to the left translation. I'm going to start off adjusting his left SI joint and hip. I hope I had the piece cocked. There. Okay, breathe. There you go. So that, there it is, right there. Okay, let's recheck your leg length here. Now, we got about a quarter of an inch of it, not all of it. Okay. You feel your head popping up a little on this next one, Jacob. Now, you know, you don't hear me make this kind of recommendation very often, but Jacob might benefit at this point in time in his care from getting some epidural steroid injections down here at the L4, L5 disc. So that's something I would consider doing before you have to have surgery. I'm trying to keep him out from underneath the knife, which I know that's what you guys are doing too. And I think that's still possible, but the, the cortisone can decrease the in inflammation in there. We don't prescribe it as chiropractors, but if I send him to a radiologist or a pain management guy to do that. I know this one radiologist here in Houston, he does it through guided video fluoroscopy, which is motion x-ray. So he's got really precise injection sites that he can do, I can refer you to, to him, but you can do it anywhere you want to. But you want to find a specialist that's been doing it for a long, long time. Let's put both arms out. Helps to have your legs bent, doesn't it? Yeah. It takes that pressure off the nerves. You feel like I can pull on this leg? Maybe if I, I just need to relax both my legs down. Okay. Whew. Hope no one else goes through this. We hope. Yeah, there's a lot of people actually going through this. We see them in here every day. A lot of them aren't as kind as you and let people video it. Okay, I'll get this over with. Breathe. There you go. That was good. Should have felt that all the way up into your lower back. Yes, sir. Good. When you put your leg down easier that time. Let me have this one now. There we go. Good. Okay, let's sit you up here and face that way side. There we go. Now these kind of herniated discs and, and radiculopathies, pinched nerve, sciatica, out of the lumbar spine are no joke. Uh, I know that Jacob's been going through hell over the past few months. And I'm going to do everything that I can do to help him resolve this non surgically. But there are certain cases that require more invasive treatment, and Jacob. I think might benefit from the epidural steroid injections. However, I'll leave that up to him and his surgeon or pain management doctor or radiologist to determine. Okay, I'll stand you up here in front of the mirror again. Is the pain shooting down your leg as much right now? Um, no, it's just really weak. Okay.
Okay, so we're just going to pull these here. I'm bring that left. And it's just that there. I know it's hard for you to shift your pelvis left, so I'm not even going to. not gonna like this much but I can dig my elbow down into your lumbar musculature and your pelvic musculature and probably calm some of that spasm down if you want me to you think you can take it or you want to get the injection instead no it's up to you I'm asking you I don't want to hurt you more than you already hurt him because I know this pain severe I've had it myself like letting me dig down in there and try to calm some of these muscle spasms down with my elbow I can do that for you where exactly in your lower back and pelvis where you're having all the spasm okay okay let me let this down for you I'll let the table down that's the great thing about this hill airdrop table let's go ahead and lean on you tell me it lowers you down for people with impairments and disabilities makes it easier to get on and then I can raise it back up whenever he gets on there oh yeah that laying on your stomach's not comfortable either is it no oh my god okay oh my so god. try to take some deep breaths I don't want you to Lamaze breathe, but take a deep breath in through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. I know this smarts, I'm sorry. So you feel those big knots in there? Yes, I do. Yeah. You feel how that's quivering when I'm on top of it? That's your muscle spasms. You can see your whole leg is actually reacting to that. I got them. Keep breathing. There you go. See, I'm trying to get on the convexity of this curve over here. Get these muscle spasms ratcheted down a little bit so you're not quite so antalgic. Easier said than done. I know, sorry. Keep breathing though. Don't hold your breath. You know, there's a rolfer that we work here in town with that I think I would like to refer you to. That's a deep uh, myofascial release biostructural type of work. Uh, Renee can give you all his information. We refer to a lot of patients to him. And he does really deep tissue stuff that changes biomusculoskeletal issues. And uh, it's called rolfing. It's a step above massage. I think that you would benefit from that too before actually getting the injection and having surgery. I would try every avenue available to me conservatively here while he has the opportunity because once you do the surgery, that's unfixable. That's a permanent fixture and you got scar tissue that's going to develop. It probably would get rid of the immediate leg pain that he's had, but the after effects of it last for a lifetime. Okay, let's stand up and see how that one feels now. If you feel any difference at all after I did that. You tell me. Don't be afraid you're going to embarrass me on YouTube because I'm not going to get embarrassed. No, it's a little loose. Does it, it feel just, any looser at all? Yeah, it does. I just only feel like just a normal pain on the side of it. Well, there is no normal pain. <laughs> <laughs> 
you feel your usual pain. You yeah, feel. there you go. Is it the same level as it was before? No. Okay. Well, let's stand here in front of the mirror and let me just have one final look at you. Actually, you're standing up straighter right now. Yeah. Come take a look at it from back here. See, he's still tilting a little left, but he's not nearly as severe. Like the way he was here. Yes, yeah, the way he was last mm -hmm. week. See, you can see space between both arms here now in his pelvis as opposed to last week, this one was totally over top of his hip. Yep. Jacob, I want to thank you for sharing your story with everybody. I know this is really severe. We're not making light of this in any way, shape, or form because um, I know this is severe. I've had herniated discs myself and sciatica and radiculopathy out of my cervical spine from a big herniation. So I know they're very painful, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to help you out conservatively, and just keep ice in it and keep moving. Yeah, thank you. And we'll keep praying for you like we always do. Thank you. And I'll see you next week. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief with Jacob here this morning. He's in severe pain, so please keep him in your prayers for healing. Thank you. We love y'all.